Hey, what's up guys, it's Sam from BSC Tech. Today we are going to install Windows 11. Basically, we are going to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using a 64-bit system. If you try this uh, installation on Windows uh, 10 with 32-bit system, you will end up with these errors. System is not compatible. Uh, your system is not supported even if you enable TPN and even if you change the boot sequence from uh, legacy to UFI. Uh, so you need a 64-bit operating system. I have uh, an elite book which is uh, running with uh, 16 GB of onboard RAM with the 64-bit uh, hardware and uh, the physical specifications are perfect in order to upgrade. So currently we are running Windows 10 Pro and I'm going to uh, basically uh, run the setup file from within the flash drive I've already created using Rufus you can do that as well uh, but you are not supposed to run this file from the boot option using the BIOS setup so connect your USB device and then go into the drives folder and after that you have to open the drive and uh, click on the basic setup and then let it take it from there as you can see that on my screen we were previously running windows 10 and uh, i'm going to check that in front of you as you can see on my screen uh, windows 10 and now i'm going to install uh, this iso file from the flash drive which is connected with my pc as you can see and then i will wait for the installation process to take place it will take some time your system will re reboot couple of times depending uh, on uh, how good your system is it will take between uh, 30 minutes to 60 minutes file size is 4.5 gb don't panic uh, if uh, a lot of people are downloading i've already shared three links yesterday and uh, they were uh, totally uh, jam-packed because uh, like a lot of people they were downloading so keep patience and uh, uh try to do it uh, the right way also don't consider this as your daily driver it's uh, still in uh, the early development uh, phases so you will expect a lot of bugs and uh, you shouldn't consider this uh, windows 11 uh, trial version as your daily driver that's a uh, very sincere and honest advice so wait for the official launch and uh, once the official launch is announced uh, probably in October you can download the official ISO file and upgrade from Windows 10.
so the windows 11 is finally upgraded as you can see on my screen uh, straightforward upgrade no issues recorded whatsoever yes it has taken some time and as you can see that we have a windows 11 pro 64 bit 10.0 build 21996 uh, 16 GB and uh, running on a 64 bit operating system as I mentioned earlier guys if you have a 32 bit system you will end up with a lot of problems uh, you shouldn't install this uh, build on 32 bit because it's physically designed for 64 bit all the drivers are there if you look in the device uh, manager and uh, the overall uh, running is smooth there's no lag so far recorded I have tried this yesterday as well on a different 64-bit machine that was a desktop and today I've installed in front of you on a physical machine which is an HP Elite book and as I mentioned earlier if you drive this on 32-bit uh, you will have a fail installation even though if you try it through the boot option or using uh, the built-in drive option and uh, to run the setup widgets they work absolutely fine you need a Microsoft account and uh, as you can see that i'm trying to quickly go through the basic setup system uh, here we have windows 10 upgraded to windows 11 pro developer edition last upgraded 16th of june and running on a 64-bit operating system don't panic if uh, the files you're trying to download from uh, the google drive and uh, other servers are uh, long delayed because there was a long queue today and yesterday probably 400 or 500 people they were downloading at the same time so the file was crashed store works absolutely fine it's a touch and uh, type system as you can see i'm trying to see that uh, the window is activated there are some updates available as well as i mentioned earlier it's in beta mode and it's still in the early development phases so if you experience a lot of bugs don't consider this to be your daily driver so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please hit subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you get all the upcoming notifications directly to your inbox i'll see you soon with another video till then take care bye bye